Guys, it's cold here. And it's probably because of Mr. Freeze. It's around 10 degrees Celsius here, where I am living. So, what's up guys? This is your boy, the Average Human 98 over here. Back with another video for Injustice 2 Mobile. And in this video, we are gonna look at finishing off all the sub-bosses of Tier 5 Solo Raids. And also have a preview of Mr. Freeze. So, let's get the party started here with the first boss which is black lightning and he is a tough boss to be honest he's a tough boss because he has immunity to stun he has immunity to freeze then random gear bonus disabled for might class and also chaos immunity which is one of chaos like modifier not immunity <laughs> so that is one of the most hated modifiers in the game uh, like i believe for everyone i guess because random tagging just messes up the gameplay. So this is the team I'm gonna stick here with. And there are a few other teams as well which you can use to one shot. But uh, for one shotting it definitely would require kind of the beta club. So here I am using Raven as well as Brainiac. So Brainiac with a sword of sin to drain power. And uh, beta club on Raven to do the damage. And Dr. Fate to reduce the power cost. I'm trying to get Dr. Fate killed. But uh, I would get lucky in the pip guys. I would get uh, definitely quite a bit of uh, luck in the pip so not much damage from black lightning it's gonna improve with the heroic tires and i'm tagged in with raven first time and first sp1 to stack up the lethals here he's just going away he's not coming close as well it's it's weird i kind of hate black lightning's ai raven tags in it's a pretty good tag i would say uh, not an unlucky tag and i'm able to do a combo interruption after two hits which i rarely you know can do but okay two stacks of darkness one stack of lethal two stacks of lethal so that's that's pretty okay and i'm trying to get dr fred killed and he's not doing damage it, it, it's weird he's running away standing there uh, the ai is pretty annoying guys uh, to be fair so another SP1 from Brainiac. Now we are up to four stacks of lethal, but darkness has gone. Raven tags in. So I would say till now, we are getting pretty lucky tag ins there. So we are now able to do the dot. Two stacks of darkness. Again, a combo interruption there. Three stacks now. Over one million dot already. I'm getting pretty lucky with the tag ins, guys. It's it's a pretty lucky tag ins, I would say. It's just alternating between Brainiac and Raven with Doctor Fate still alive. I mean, that's that's huge luck, I would say. What? <laughs> like this is this is pure luck, guys. This is pure luck. So four stacks till now, and we are already doing huge amount of damage. Already five million, six million damage. The full stacks of Raven is there for Darkness, but uh, not full stacks yet from Brainiac. And we are seeing a 7.5 million damage. So basically this phase is literally like phase 2 of League Raids, but with crits being available. So that makes things a lot easier in a way, but it's still a difficult boss. So what are the other alternate teams that can be used? To finish off boss black lightning so i have one of my subscriber mr james uh, he used a different team he used you know raven again raven is kind of compulsory here with batman ninja catwoman with the beta club and uh, batman ninja robin as a support and that's an excellent team as well because uh, you know every lethal attack hit landed is gonna you know increase the lethal damage for batman ninja catwoman because of Batman Ninja Robin's passive and you know Raven kind of grants you total attack boost with the darkness. So that's another interesting team. King of Atlantis Aquaman might work as well because one random gear is kind of disabled. So King of Atlantis Aquaman with Raven and Dr. Fate is gonna work as well I believe and it should be still the go-to team if you do not have the other teams as strong. So with that being said, let's move on to the next one. We have boss Captain Cold. Pretty easy boss, I would say. Has increased fast attack chance and critical attack chance. Uh, let's look at the modifier again. Has lethal attack chance and negates damage from special one. So keep in mind, it negates the damage. That means it's going to register as one. The damage is going to register as one. But the special is not disabled. So you can still use the special ability one. Which means Brainiac SP1 to boost the legendary teammates is applicable here. As well as, you know, Raven's SP1 is applicable. And basically all SP1s are applicable if they are granting any bonuses. 
So let's look at the battle here. It can be stunned, so you can use Heartbreaker Harley Quinn as well. Uh, like that's a standard pip. So I just wanted to, you know, use something different. So I initially thought of using Heartbreaker Harley Quinn, but at the end of the day, this is the team I used. I used Entangling Poison Ivy with the Dark Metal Cards artifact, and this has four around 4k attack with you know 420 percent critical attack damage that's how my entangling poison iv is built i have last love the joker here as well in the team with the bat ranks just in case if it's required i didn't think it would be required and uh, it was kind of true as well and raven is equipped with a sword of sin to drain power so and guess what who is my damage dealer my damage dealer is Entangling Poison Ivy. So here is off to the battle. We are off to the battle here and an SP1 from Raven and he starts blocking out of the blues. I mean, it's ridiculous at uh, uh, sometimes, guys, how ridiculous this is. And he jumps. I, I don't know. They have introduced this to, you know, combat the advanced tag in. The advanced tag in is kind of figured out by us people, right? It's figured out by QRM men first, as far as I recall. And it's something that the people are figuring out to do more damage. And what they do, they try to, you know, counter it using this jump. You see, I was not trying to do an advanced tag in, but Captain Cold is just jumping like that. Ooh, that's bad. Anyways, five stacks, and now we are able to do an advanced tag in that didn't fail there. So we are getting over a million damage with a basic hits, around two million damage as well with the dark metal cards kind of equipped. So just tagging in Reagan, uh, Raven, <coughs> not Reagan, <laughs> uh, with uh, refreshment of darkness, and now we are finishing it off in style. So it's it's a pretty easy one shot with entangling poison ivy as the damage dealer instead of last of the joker last of the joker was there just to you know boost the dot damage from his passive so that concludes for entangling poison ivy one shotting cc cc is pretty easy uh, i would say the standard team to use is heartbreaker harley queen because it would be very fast and uh, kind of assured as well unless you have raven and uh, you know you can experiment out around so this is boss batman he literally has nothing anti-tech fill and strengthened uh, increased damage from attacks and even you can use silver banshee because immunity like abilities are not immune immunity is not disabled <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying guys but uh, yeah so you can even use silver banshee to not possibly one shot because 65 million is a bit higher entangling poison ivy heartbreaker harley quinn uh, those are better teams here as well so i'm gonna use a different team i'm gonna use brainiac with Martian Manhunter as the damage dealer, <laughs> you know, just for fun here, just for fun. Uh, like my Martian Manhunter is pretty weak. Like you can see here, I'm going to equip it with the beta club just for, you know, I, I'll say just for video purposes, any legendary can one shot it, to be honest, uh, with the beta club once you have Raven and Brainiac and you can see only 3.3 attack, 3.3k attack, 3.4k attack, but that's okay. So it's a pretty easy pip. I'll just jump into the pip here. So here I am with Raven. It's not going to take a lot of time at all. Doing a combo here and tagging in Brainiac, doing an SP1 just to power drain. Oh no, I didn't equip power drain here. I equipped power drain on Raven. I forgot that. So here I am able to do an SP2 and there's a burn and there's the power drain and stacking up the lethal here from Brainiac. Again, tagging in Raven. And I don't know why that happened. There's. There is lag always guys, there is always lag. Two stacks of darkness right now. And another lethal attack damage stack. Three stacks of lethal, two stacks of darkness. It's it's the usual setup guys, it's the usual setup. It's just building up to uh, do some decent amount of damage. Now we have four stacks of lethal. Tagging in Raven, I'm gonna try to get in the fourth stack of darkness. Here is the fourth stack of darkness. And tagging in Martian Manhunter in the middle only i don't want to prolong the battle because it's gonna be pretty easy damage at the end of the day you don't need to max out you know the stacks of brainiac because uh, the beta is gonna is gonna wreck havoc here so you can see already two point some million damage i tried to do a jump it blocked it i don't know <laughs> that's how it is it's kind of weird but uh that's how it is i mean the gameplay is not that great to be uh, to be fair i mean i wasn't even concentrating here at all because it's an easy one shot at the end of the day unless you get the unusual gameplay which fortunately i didn't get 
<laughs> which fortunately I didn't get and here we are almost finishing it off and 2.8 million dot flew off there and Martian Manhunter sits for the meditation <laughs> all right guys so we are on to the final boss and that's gonna be the next pip let's look at Mr. Freeze let's look at the modifiers boss Mr. Freeze has lethal attack chances increased and is immune to stun and freeze okay his attacks also can be disabled silver banshee rest in peace the boss has defensive measures in place to prevent himself from taking an excessive amount of damage from any single attack so it's 280 million health that means 3% of 280 million which will be 8.4 million is the maximum amount of damage that you can do with one hit and also the boss mr freeze periodically uses freezing bombard with ice shards ice fall make sure that you have enough heroes with burn abilities on your team burn abilities is it only essential or not is something that we'll check out in the next pip but from my initial understanding i think even the sword of sin is gonna help and which is something that i'm gonna have on one of my teammates i'm not decided on the team king of atlantis aquaman team could be used possibly i guess brainiac raven could be used possibly as well i i guess as well and uh, possibly other teams could be used too here because i feel this boss isn't that difficult uh, it seems to be easy if you have the beta club but if you don't have it i think uh, kom should be the way to go with a decent amount of damage you cannot you know stun this boss so hardbreaker harley quinn is literally rest in peace the boss is gonna be combo interruptible by the way so it should be easy to use even raven and uh, you know last love the joker and dangling poison ivy as well that's gonna do some decent amount of damage as well so uh, overall i think it's gonna be a pretty easy boss to fight hopefully i'll one shot it don't know it could be anything guys are uh, going for a toss so thanks for watching and this concludes for this video this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already i'm signing off you guys take care and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace